Top story this hour, Iraqi forces have launched an offensive to retake Mosul and deal a death blow to Islamic State. Mosul is of strategic importance in the long-running fight. Islamic State considers the city to be the capital of its so-called caliphate declared two years ago. CCTV America's Jim Spellman reports. After months of build-up, the battle for Mosul is underway. I am announcing today the beginning of these heroic operations to liberate you from the brutality and terrorism of ISIS. God willing, we will meet soon on the ground of Mosul, where we will all celebrate the liberation and your freedom. Iraqi security forces, Kurdish Peshmerga fighters, and Shia militias are working to take back Mosul from ISIL control. This is the first time that the Peshmerga forces and the Iraqi army are mixed in the battlefield against this terrorist organization, and we do hope that this is going to be a good start and set a precedent for the future, for the better relationship between both sides. U.S. Special Forces are assisting Iraqi troops on the ground while U.S.-led coalition aircraft bomb strategic targets. ISIL has set fire to oil fields, filling the skies with smoke and making airstrikes more difficult. The fiercest fighting is expected when ground forces enter the city and go neighborhood to neighborhood, rooting out ISIL fighters. We know that there's a substantial ISIL presence. Um, we know that they've had two years to dig in, to build defensive uh, systems to plant IEDs to do what they can to uh, make life more difficult for the Iraqi security forces. As the battle goes on, thousands will be forced from their homes and into makeshift camps. This is going to be massive emergency. The information we have is there would be about 200,000 that will come out in the first two weeks of the emergency. And you can imagine um, addressing the needs of 200,000 people. Early reports indicate the first day of fighting went well for Iraqi forces. Peshmerga fighters took several villages east of Mosul, despite facing resistance from ISIL fighters in the form of suicide attacks. Jim Spellman, CCTV, Washington.